amazing weather. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful out right now. It's just a perfect ending to this perfect week, really. Mm -hmm. April coming in so nicely. Beautiful sunshine out there. You can see lots of blue sky. 73 degrees, third day in a row that we have hit the 70s. Uh, winds are coming in from the west at 9 right now, and so we have a light breeze. Westerly winds will continue to pick up, and that will mean some minor changes for the weekend. In fact, that westerly wind off the ocean is keeping it a little bit cooler for coastal areas, but not keeping the sunshine away. Beautiful view from our Columbia River Maritime Museum camera here. Uh, 60 degrees, though. We're only in the 50s at Cannon Beach and Lincoln City in the 50s, too. And again, that's thanks to that onshore wind that will strengthen a bit as we head to the weekend, which means it won't be quite as warm for us here in the valley over the weekend either. But it still will be very nice. Low to mid-70s out there right now. Hood River at 77. The Dow's in the upper 70s. Look at Government Camp at 64. And we're even in the low to mid-70s in Central Oregon right now. So it is just feeling delightful out. Here's how it pans out this evening. Temperatures will be close to 70 as we head through the 7 p.m. hour. After that, we just fall through the 60s after sunset, so it's still really pleasant tonight. And then mainly clear skies. We're still in the upper 50s before midnight. Eventually, it will mean a low of temperatures down into the middle and upper 40s tonight. So a little chilly to start off with for your tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, but then we warm right back up again. Central Oregon down into the low 40s there, mid 40s for the coast. High pressure, which has been continuing to head east. It's been bringing us this warm, really dry weather. It's going to continue to head east. So that means it's moving out of here, and that's going to allow this next front to approach. And so it will bring in some minor changes. But the good news is, is the rain does hold off until after the weekend. And so we'll get in a dry weekend. It just might not be quite as sunny as it has been. So here's a look at the satellite and radar, and you can see the cloud cover really hugging that coastline right now. That's going to continue to move in, and it will be tough to get rid of for Saturday, but I think we'll, we will, by the second half of Saturday, try to push some of those clouds out for coastal areas uh, before it moves right back in again. And Sunday may be a, the tough day, really, uh, to get the sunshine going, but Saturday definitely shows some promise for the coast. Inland, I think we'll see sunshine both days. Uh, Mount Hood Meadows is the live picture from up that way. Just a Beautiful day up on the mountain. Temperatures there have been running very warm. We will see more snow though. How about that? Monday into Tuesday, snow levels down to 4,500 feet before it warms right back up again. Uh, here's a look at your forecast for the metro area for your Saturday. Temperatures will be in the low 50s at 7 a.m., partly cloudy skies, and then partly cloudy really for the rest of the day. We're just battling some high clouds. Highs will be in the upper 60s tomorrow afternoon instead of in the low to mid 70s, so still not bad at all. Central Oregon, uh, we'll be looking at highs in the upper 60s, watching for a stray shower to pop up. Otherwise, lots of sunshine. Uh, so just looking great there. If you're headed to the coast, we're going to be looking at uh, it's just again that cloud cover early on, some sunshine for the afternoon, but highs mainly in the 50s for Saturday, Sunday, cloudy skies and rain chances start to move in for the evening and overnight hours Sunday night. Up in the Cascades, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s there, and we'll see partly cloudy skies at freezing level at 9,000 feet. So I'll track it for you. As we head through the rest of this evening, uh, we're going to see clouds again rolling on in. So this is where we wake up Saturday morning. And again, it looks like it'll be a little gray to start off with, but these clouds do move out for the afternoon. We're back to sunshine, and then we're staying dry. We go into your Sunday, and we start off with partly cloudy skies. We quickly go to sunshine, and it looks like a beautiful afternoon. And then by Sunday evening, here comes the rain, and that continues to push through through the overnight hours, and that means a wet start to the work week. So your forecast around the state Saturday, upper 60s to around 70, part sunny sky Sunday, mostly sunny and then cloudy with rain by Sunday night. And then we go to Monday and we're back to highs in the 50s with shower chances. And then Tuesday, we start to break out of those showers just a little bit, but the real breakout will happen on Wednesday. So your seven day forecast here, upper 60s for the weekend. And we will see again a lot of sunshine, I think, just not quite as much as we've seen the past couple of days. Monday, Tuesday, wet at times. Wednesday, the transition day, we're looking at highs around 70. Look at Thursday. So highs in the upper 70s. Some of us could approach 80 degrees wow. next week. We're looking mainly dry through Friday, and this could stick around through next weekend too. So basically we have two days here where we all have rain chances before another long stretch of sunny, dry, warm weather. And since the temperatures won't be going down near freezing at night, mm -hmm. I think plants are just going to bloom oh, and take off like yes. crazy. And so is that pollen too. Right. So you better you stock up on that. the Zyrtec. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, I need to anyway. All right, still